All right, solving this problem. So sine, cosine theta. Um, so if a sine of theta, excuse me, cotangent of theta is equal to eight, and then if the cosecant, which is essentially one over the sine, so um, if it's less than zero, that means sine's gotta be either in quadrant three or, f three or four, and since cotangent's positive, that means this is gonna take place in co um, quadrant number three. All right, so a cotangent, so this is cosine over sine, so essentially eight over one, which means that um, this is gonna be equal to negative eight, and the y component's gonna be equal to negative one. So this is gonna be equal to root 65, because it's eight squared plus one squared. Sine is going to be, or theta is gonna be equal to negative eight, or excuse me, negative one, over the square root of 65, if you rationalize the denominator, root 65 over 65. Cosine is gonna be equal to uh, negative eight over root 65, or negative eight root 65 over 65. All right, that's it.